Ciao. Today we're flying Turkish Airlines. We are in business class, but we have a layover in Turkey, and then we're flying to Newark on about a 10 hour flight. So it's gonna be a journey today. Should we buy stuff? No, why does every international airport have nice. crazy stores? Ah, I mamma like mia. So we had to leave the Airbnb at 8.30 this morning. We have not eaten breakfast yet, so we are headed to the lounge. Crazy. A breakfast appetizer. What'd you get? Well, I got an omelet that I'm excited about with bacon. I'm not sure about this hot dog. I think that might be a staying. But it looks good other than that. Bon appetit. So it is 10 a.m. Apparently our gate is in another building. So we have left the lounge. We have fell off almost there. fallen off the elevator. That's we are elevator. headed to our gate. We're supposed to board at 1020, but apparently we have to go to passport control beforehand. So we'll see how long it takes us. Yeah. So our first flight on our way to Istanbul, which is only like a two hour flight. So we're on a narrow body plane. So the seats in business class aren't gonna be lie flat like everyone sees in the pictures. So the next flight from Istanbul to Newark is, so we're excited for that one. This one's just gonna be kind of like a puddle jump flight to our wide body airplane, which is the lay flat seats. First leg of the journey, at the big seats here. No TV. Thank you. It's got fingerprints on there. I think it's 209 though, I think it's actually 309. Yeah, so, off to the lounge. We just went up and down the escalators looking for the business lounge. It's a little confusing. I feel like I'm at a casino. There's so many neon lights in here. It's so bright. Really nice. Did it say close? There are private suites in this lounge, but. And showers. And lockers for your bags so that you don't have to worry about carrying them around if you want to go from like a table to a computer work desk or something like that. It's pretty cool. Especially my backpack's really heavy. I'm thinking about it. This, this is, is so nuts. Cute. This is awesome. This almost competes with guitar. I'll take it. You want to do the first run or the second? I can do the second. You can go first. Yeah. I think this one has better food choices. Yeah. Because I think it's like... Italian, Turkish, and there's like sweets and wines. Like, all right. Yeah, good selection. Check this out. So grilled chicken, rice, with Turkish bagel. Never seen this before. Have to try it. And then this. I took a picture of it. 
It is Turkish style pied, P-I-D-E, which to me looks like flatbread pizza. pizza. And there's a bunch of different kinds. So I figured we could try them out and split it. It's minced beef with cheese, turkey with cheese, mixed vegetables with basil, white cheese with olive paste, which I guess is this one. Wow, that one looked the best until it you told me it had olive paste. What's wrong with olive paste? <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be great. Your turn. What you got there? So you can't end a Italian vacation without some more pasta. Oh. And they have Turkish ravioli that I really want to try, but that needs five more minutes. I don't know how pasta is going to be in Turkey when you're coming from Italy because the standard is so high in Italy. It's going to be tough to beat. So I'll let you know. I think it's good. All right, time to try a Turkish bagel. Feels like it's just a hard roll, Italian roll, honestly. It looks like it has sesame seeds on it. A lot. A lot of sesame seeds? What do you think? It's okay. It's like a really hard, a hard Italian roll with sesame that has crust and a very tight cylinder. Probably wouldn't get it again. I'm sure you dip it with something, but I don't know. It was just plain there when I got it, so try it. I think it's actually pretty good. Yeah. So this is apparently Turkish ravioli. I have no idea what's on it or what's in it, but I'm gonna try it. it looks like a little tortellini. Wow. It's very interesting. It's like I think the white stuff is sour cream, which I don't love. I don't know what the red stuff is. It's got meat inside, I think. Good. It's actually pretty good, but I just have no idea what I'm eating. What is it called? Turkish ravioli. So I just walked around the entire lounge looking for baklava. And if you don't know what baklava is, it's basically like a Turkish sweet. So I was pretty certain and excited to have baklava here. And I went up and asked someone, and he said there is no baklava in this lounge. It is the most popular sweet of the Ottoman cuisine in Turkey. I was so disappointed. It's so good. If you haven't had it, try it. I've been over here downloading a movie. Trying to download. Britney versus Spears. Oh god. <laughs> They're boarding right now. We're a little late. A little late. It's alright. We'll make it. <laughs> Got him. We're at a standstill. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Thank you. Actually, look like they'll fit my feet though. They do look like they'll fit your feet. Blanket. I've never been on a plane massage chair. I hit this little squiggle button, thinking it was wind and I was gonna get some air. It's like a massage. Actually, I don't know. It's not. and it's not in like a little foot cubby thing. So we ended up switching seats because Having cruised last time and cross check. Our tray table was broken and it was a hazard. Now we're on the first row. Now she's on the window. Front row, baby. I know, I don't know how I got over here. I usually pee a lot, so... 
Sucks to be you. 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 Sucks to be